So we're getting ready to take the transfer case apart to put the new input shaft in it, but I wanted to point something out that we ran into trying to get the echo box on the transmission. See those little spots there? I don't know if you can tell in the camera very well. It's little spots. They've been self-clearancing. Now, if you look over here at the transmission, see that little spot there and there. Okay, so those spots were hitting on the bearing retainer right there. And the reason I'm pointing that out is because we went to put the, the front half of the echo box on the transmission and we had an eighth of an inch gap around. It wouldn't go all the way tight up against the transmission. We had a gap. And upon further investigation, it was because of the, the bearing retainer Mm -hmm. which you can see on the other one, the old one, that it's been rubbing, so I ground it off. If you can look from the side, we had to grind it off like that. And then also the bolts that they gave us for right here, they were hitting the inside of the transfer, transmission also, so that's why we have these, uh, these bolts on there. Those are low enough, if you look, they're low enough because this is this is the point that hits so the bolts have to be lower than that so we had to grind off the three places on the bearing retainer to get it to fit but it fits nice and tight now so wanted to show you guys what we got going on right here we got both halves of the echo box put together um this was the hardest part which there's there's pictures in the slide of how we pressed in the annulus gear and um, got all that put together and some of the different issues we ran in with the bearing retainer here having to shave it down but we got that in this this next half that we worked on right here see the shift fork is right here and <clears throat> the shift collar that we ordered was really tight on our main shaft in here and I you know, that's not right. You want it to slide pretty freely. It doesn't need to be bound up in there. So there's a guy that lives out. Hank at Jeep Barn. Hank at Jeep Barn, yeah. He's it's a great guy. He's good people. He And he's got a barn full of Jeep parts, more than you can imagine. And so anyways, he had about 40 of these suckers. So we went and, and took our shaft and played around. And the second one might grab to test. It fit perfectly. So we got a shift collar so we could finally put things back together. And you see that connects right in there. And the shift in the fork, it goes right in that slot right there. That allows it to, of course, shift up and down properly. Right now I think we have it in engage, disengage. disengage. Engage. Crank it up. If I can do it. Because you know I'm kind of retarded. Yummy, yummy, yummy. You want to make sure everything's greased, right? Because you don't want it to overheat and all that jazz. So that's engaged. When it's down, it's disengaged. And we put the halves together and make sure everything mated properly. And it does. I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like on the inside of the Echo Box. It's very simple. It's a very simple machine. So this is going to be my 2.7 to 1. And I can't wait to put it in. Catch you later. We do still have a lot of waiting time for the engine to get here. I thought it was going to be here in like a, a week. Or I two. said it was going to be here tomorrow, but really it's, it's not, not going to be here till May 4th or 5th or something like that. And then with how everything is going, who knows if that will even really be when it gets here. So let me show you what we've got done over here. Got our transfer case all put back together. We had to take it apart to take out the 21 spline that comes in the MP231 that connects to, what is that? The AX, AX5. What? AX5. Okay. We took that guy out and we put him on the back side. No, our, we didn't use that one. Oh, we didn't use that one. Because that was four to one planetary only. That's right. That's right. We completely took that one out. So we put the 23 spline in 
this guy so that it mates up with the 23 spline that you can only get with the echo box. Right. Right. Yeah. And then this end right here, that guy right there will, will hook up directly to the transmission, which is great. We do have a couple of things that we still have to do. We just did a test fit here, but... Oh, looks a little short right there, It Kayla. does, it does. So what we're gonna do to remedy that problem, we weren't really sure at first why they sent us two different sizes of studs, but upon you know, putting everything together, we realize that the factory studs are just, just a hair too short. We have this quarter inch thick uh, foot, foot that's yeah. gonna be attached to the skid plate. So now the studs aren't long enough, but they gave us new studs. So yeah. that's good. So we, we just gotta put them in. We just gotta put those in. And then we also have to put this uh, retaining seal in that covers the bearing that's on this side of the echo box. Not a big deal. We just wanted yeah. to make sure that everything made it up properly and it does. I'm pretty excited about it. The only other thing that we've really been able to get done and, and it's no little feat because Michael spent at least two or three solid days grindering and that is some dirty, dirty work. Um, but he got my my frame all cleaned up. It looks really, really nice and we've got couple coats of paint on it so it looks better than all the rest of the frame in the Jeep and she's coming along we can't really put the motor mounts in until we get the new engine and set it up where it's gonna be and then we want to do a test mock-up and hook everything up together to, to see where we need to make brackets and whatnot so you probably won't hear from us Till the engine comes. Till the engine comes, which is going to be a little while. But I do hope that you have enjoyed our progress so far. And if you have any questions or you want to know anything else that we might not have mentioned on this adventure of putting the Echo Box together, uh, just shoot us a, a comment down in the section, the comment section below. We'd love to hear from you. And hopefully... We'll see you guys on the trail. Soon, hopefully.